The first day, the gift of fear of the Lord. On this day, following the feast of the Lord's ascension, we pray that reverence and respect for the things of heaven and for God's creation, especially for human life, may transform our hearts and minds and laws. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. Whenever scripture speaks of the fear of the Lord, we notice that it never mentions it on its own, as if fear could by itself bring our faith to perfection. But of the true fear of the Lord, we read, Come, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. The fear of God, then, is something to be learned because it is taught. Its origins are found by way of teaching and not in fright. We find it in obeying the commandments, in doing the good deeds of a blameless life, in coming to know the truth, and not in moments of human terror. All our fear of God is inspired and perfected by love. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, may we be overwhelmed by the greatness and goodness of God and avoid all sin and attachment to created things so that each of us may be a living sign of the gospel for all people to see. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, from the beginning of time, you have prepared the way of salvation for the human race wounded by sin and death. Through your inspired word, you have taught that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, may we walk always along the path you have revealed, following your counsels, conforming ourselves to your commands, and trusting your promises as heralds of a new Pentecost. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Temple of the Holy Spirit, pray for us. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world, brought low by the coronavirus. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence, grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We make this prayer moved by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, your beloved Son. Amen.